Ahoy there folks, I'm Captain Benzie and today something very special arrived in the post for me. I do apologise, I'm using my phone to record this, hence it's a little bit shaky because I haven't got my tripod and that all set up for this yet. But I really wanted to showcase what has just arrived because I think a lot of you will be very interested. Now I am going to be covering this a lot over the coming weeks with a big video later this month going into the full details of everything. I hope you're excited, you can already tell by the thumbnail and the video what we're going to be talking today, so let's take a look. So this box is absolutely massive, it weighs seven and a half kilograms, which is quite possibly the heaviest board game I've ever owned. And of course we are full of packing noodles, I did not prepare a basket for this, so we're just going to chuck those out of the way, oh so many. I hate the feel of these things too, that sort of polystyrene feel, but there we are, and the magic is being revealed underneath. Oh, and they even protected the corners of the box as well, that's really sweet. So this is a handmade prototype I've been told, apparently there are only 10 of these made. Um, they've put it really quite snugly in the box, as you can see I cannot get it out of here. So I'm just going to rip through the back of the box instead and kind of almost pour it out. There we are. Lift it. Grab it. Oh, seven and a half kgs of just pure heft, I guess. Really pretty artwork. I think that's possibly Rick Javix's work. I'm not entirely certain. Um, big old box. You can see in the prototype there, not for resale in the bottom left corner and an overview of what it looks like. Now, the contents in the actual box I've got are ever so slightly different to what you're going to see on the back there, notably like the flight stands. Um, again, these are sort of handmade productions. Some bits are 3D printed, like the cards are hand cut um, and all of that jazz as well. So tear off the plastic, start to open up the box itself. Oof. There we go. Beautiful inlay as well, like printed really nicely inside there. You can see the uh, like the battleships and their overviews are printed inside the box as well, which I really like. Little envelope there that's a thank you for, you know, agreeing to test this and give it a go. And then we've got all the inserts. So those are your asteroid tokens and your discovery tokens. Those go into bags that we'll see later. Next one is our mission and event cards. Now you see some of these have shifted a little bit during transit. Um, this is pre-production. We're not sure. I don't know exactly if we're going to be getting all of these 3D printed insert bits as well. I hope so. Um, yeah, a little bit of uh, sort of loose around there. Those are our four mining minerals. Uh, your Morphite, your Mexalon, Tritanium and Pyrite, I believe, along with your station tokens, research tokens, planetary production, uh, moon goo and uh, come on, Benzi, components, components in the top left of that tray there. And this is actually a really nice organizer, works really well during the game as well. But the tray that everyone is most interested in, this of course is the actual plastics. Now quite a few of these did arrive damaged in this, again it's pre-production prototypes, these are not the quality of the actual final releases. There you can see a Sabre, a Varga and the Panther at the bottom there. Oh, the Varga, I just love the fact that I've got Sabres, Vargas, Hurricanes and stuff in here as well, that's just fantastic. The Amar ships, let's have a look at these ones next. So what we have in here, that's an Apocalypse, or rather a Paladin, technically by the cards. Obviously you start at Tech 1, but you do upgrade them to Tech 2. There is your Harbinger Battle Cruiser, when the camera focuses in on it, and a few other bits and pieces in there as well. Galente and Caldari. I'm not going to go through every single model here, because bless my mum's carrying the phone. And we then have our cards, so those are your ship cards. And then the little stacks are the um, the upgrades that you have, your sort of research cards and your tactics for battle. Now these are the hexes that form the board, your discovery tiles. Basically these come in three different tiers, Tech 1, Tech 2 and Tech 3. And then you've got the edge of the board there with the rules and bits around it as well. There we have the inserts. These are the actual boards themselves, the player boards, the faction boards. Um, these are pretty thick because you're taking cubes from the bottom track and putting them into the actions and these are really high quality. Love how they work. I also love that I now have 3D printed trays of all of the four factions. Like there's the Kaldari one. If I open it up, you can see the Kaldari claim tokens, action cubes, um, the fleet exhaust tokens are in there as well. That's a, yeah, you can see there. 
uh, the different cubes that go into that tracker to allow you to keep an eye on how much isk you're using. You actually only put one in there, one in the digits and one in the tens. You move them around between the actions and uh, the free action slots where they start and then the actual actions that you want to perform that turn. Beautiful little 3D printed trays there. Again, this is not emblematic of what the final product will look like, but I just, I hope we get stuff like that. And the dice are really cool as well. Custom dice with your aim symbols, your damage symbols, and your crits. White dice are better at locking, but do less damage. Black dice are much better at damage, but don't have as many lock symbols, which is how the game kind of represents things like tracking and application. There's your two bags for your asteroids and your, uh, uh, your discovery tokens as well so those uh, will actually go into that top bit as, as well later on when i fill those with the tokens but for now we're going to roll that back in and call it there i just i love this box so much there is so much really cool stuff in here the models themselves are pretty basic here in this prototype but still a good amount of detail it's very clear what each and every ship is which is important very clear and readable on the actual board state the tokens are very high quality the board is very high quality i love the insert that it all comes with it really helps organize it and the fact that those are actually used as trays in gameplay as well is super useful like being able to slide the cards and tokens out of where you actually need them it is a really solid prototype like i was expecting this to just be like cardboard and paper but the fact is a lot of it is thick wood solid cardboard really high quality card prints and the fact that i'm being told that this is not emblematic of the final product and the final product will be so much better really really excites me Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed taking a first look at the EVE Online board game here. Let me know what your favorite aspect of this is and what you're looking forward to finding out most about. If you come join the Cat Skull Discord, I might even be able to answer a few sneaky questions that you may have about the game. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Happy sailing and see you in New Eden.